Welcome to the video. In this video we will build stack portfolio tracker using Apple numbers. We will learn how to build this 3D diagram to visualize all of your positions. As well we will display annual dividends for all the positions in your portfolio. We will build a table with all the portfolio positions including next 12 months and these price targets, upside potential based on this price target and the current price dividend yield as well as payout ratio based on the earnings per share and we will display paper gain or losses based on the cost basis which you bought this stock and finally we will visualize the annual dividend and whole portfolio value i respect your time so without further ado what's going on investors hopefully guys are doing well out there welcome to the video and let's immediately start with our stock portfolio tracker to save the time, I already prepared the empty template. So let's immediately start with ticker symbol. The first column will be ticker and let's write AAPL. This is the ticker symbol of Apple Corporation. The next column will be name. And for the name, we will use stock function to visualize the name. If we write stock here, we will see there are two different functions and we would like to choose this one. And you can see that there are two parameters. The first one is symbol. We can directly type the symbol here or we can directly choose the symbol from our table. And for the second parameter, we can see that there are many, many options available. And for us, we will choose name. And if you can see, okay, Apple incorporated. Very, very nice. For the second, um, for the second column, we will use amount of shares. So for Apple, let's take 80 shares. And for the cost basis, this is also manual field for the cost basis we need to this is the only two manual manual fields we need to fill by our own everything else will be out will be calculated automatically so for the cost basis let's see that we bought the apple with 260 dollars per share and for the next one we will also use the uh, stock function for the current price for, we also would need to use the stock for the symbol choose aapl and price is already selected by default. Okay, very, very nice. Now what we wanna do is for cost basis, we would like to change the formatting because if you can see here for the current price, we have US dollars, but just here is just 260, it's a number. So what we wanna do is go to sell and then data format. Here you can see there is currency. We choose currency. Here you can cho choose different currency based on where do you live. Let's go to the next column, which is target. This is next year, next 12 months target from analyst. And for this one, we would also use the function stock for symbol choose AAPL. And for the second parameter, we would choose one year target. Okay, very nice. We can see that the target from analyst is not very far from the current price. So quite low upside, which is we will rendering for the, for the next column upside. We take the difference between target and current price. And we will divide it by current price. So the upside for Apple is only 2%. Uh, not so juicy for that. But anyway, let's move forward. For the next field, we will use the dividend. For the dividend yield, for the dividend yield, we would use the stock function as well. And we would choose a APL. And for the yield, you can see this is 9. Okay, very, very nice. Apple is paying a uh, very low dividend, but Apple is uh, mostly using the strategy to buy back shares, so not really paying the dividends. This is their strategy to uh, give the cash back to shareholders. And let's also visualize the annual dividend. For the annual dividend, we will use the stock function as well. And here we will choose Apple as usual. And for the annual dividend, you can see 20, okay. So Apple is paying $1 in dividends per year. But we need to keep in mind that we are holding 80 shares of Apple. So to really calculate the annual dividend correctly, we need to multiply annual dividend by shares which we hold in our portfolio. In this case, we will get $80 from our position of Apple. Okay, good enough. Now we also would like to know and would like to visualize is this dividend safe? Usually to understand is dividend safe or not, we would calculate what percentage of the free cash flow produced per year is paid in dividends. So if the company, let's say, producing $1 billion in free cash flow and paying in dividends 
$2 billion. Obviously, this is not sustainable. Unfortunately, Apple numbers is not allowing us to uh, get the free cash flow from the company. Uh, the only thing it allows us to, to get earnings per share. So instead of using free cash flow, we will use uh, earnings per share. But as I mentioned, normally, normally when we are doing the fundamental analysis, normally we are using the free cash flow. To calculate payout ratio, we would choose the stock function again. And for the symbol, as always, we choose Apple. And here we would choose annual dividends. So this is uh, how, how much the company is paying in dividends. And we would want to divide by Apple. And we would want to divide by earnings per share. So we can see that Apple is paying around 16% of their earnings as a dividend to the shareholders. And as I mentioned before, mostly they are buy buying back shares. Okay, good. To calculate the current uh, gains or losses, we need to take the current price, take the difference between the current price and cost basis. And finally, we will divide this by the cost basis. We will see that currently we are down around 5% on Apple position. Okay, very nice. And for the value, for the value, we will just calculate like this. We just take the amount of shares we hold and we just multiply that by the current price. So this is total amount of money we are holding in Apple and let's just change the US dollar for euro to US dollar to have the same consistency everywhere. Now the next we are going to do is we are going to visualize for gains or losses to very clearly see that we are up or down. To do that you, you would want to go to sell and here you can see conditional highlighting add a rule. So if the so if the number is greater than zero then we would want to make it green and also if the number is less than zero then we would want to make it red click done if you can see the number become red because the number is negative and also i would like to apply the same uh, the same scenario for the upside to very clearly see is there a large upside based on the analyst estimates for the next 12 months comparing to the current price now let me mention that usually i am not really paying a lot of attention to the analyst price targets usually i am paying attention to the analyst estimation for the revenue for the earnings per share for the next uh, few years but for the price targets i don't really pay attention because usually they are just chasing the price if the price is moving up they will hike the price targets price is moving down they will uh, you know lower the price uh, price guidance so anyhow to to do the to do the highlighting we would go to sell conditional highlighting add rule greater than so if the upside potential is greater than 15 percent then we would make it green and if the upside potential is less than 15 percent we would make it red Okay, so for 2%, it's obviously not juicy enough. I would not want to, you know, hold the stock for one year just to get the 2% uh, upside. But uh, that's what we would like to demonstrate the ability. How can you do it in Apple numbers? Okay, very, very nice. Now let's add more companies to our stock portfolio. And uh, But I don't know the ticker symbol of the company. So what do I do? So to find the ticker symbol of the company, we would go to Yahoo Finance. And in the Yahoo Finance, we will just uh, directly write the name of the company. Let's say we would like to know the ticker symbol of Amazon. And here you can see this is the name of the company, Amazon Incorporation. And here in a braces, you can see M-A-Z-N. So this is exactly the ticker symbol of the company. So we write M-A-Z-N and also add, let's add to our portfolio MSFT, Microsoft and Google, G-O-O-G-L, P-L-T-R, Palantir and AMD. Okay, very, very nice. And now what we want to do is we want to select the first row where we already fill all the formulas, all the configurations and stuff. And what we want to do is just drag it down all the way down. Okay, very nice. A lot of stuff is filled automatically, but we see some errors. Let's fix them. Firstly, we can see that in this error, the problem is that Amazon is not really paying dividends. So what we want to do is we want to change the, change the formula and we want to use if error. So if error has two parameters, expression and what will happen if error is happening. So our previous expression, which has directly cut and put it here. So this is our expression, nothing changed. And if error, we just directly want to render zero. Okay, now it's, it's good. And let's apply it for other rows. Okay, very, very nice. And for the annual dividend it is a similar problem. So we would, would go with the same solution. We would go if errors, if error, we would want to cut this one, put it in expression 
and here we would put zero, apply for all of them. And for the payout ratio, the solution is exactly the same. If error for the expression, we take our expression, put it here, zero, apply apply for all the companies and now what we want to do is actually we want to change the amount of shares so let's uh, let's put here 30 shares here 90 shares and make sure that uh, when you are doing that for yourself you will directly uh, make sure that you put the right number of shares and for the cost basis let's change it to 150 to 250 190 50 and 90 and here we would want to get a summary of our portfolio. So let's write, and we would want to render the annual dividend because I am quite interested and excited to see how many dividends I will get per year. So let's calculate that we will use the sum function. And for the sum, we will take all of them and we will see that, okay, very nice. For the year, we will get $250 uh, dollars in, in, in dividends, very, very juicy. And also we would like to uh, calculate what is the what is the value of our total portfolio. So let us calculate the summary as well. And the cal calculate and after we calculate, we see that our portfolio was 88,000. Very nice. The next step is, is, is very exciting. We are gonna build the diagram where we will visualize all of our positions in the portfolio and to do that we need to choose these values and we would want to go to the chart and we would want to go to 3d and choose this pie diagram now let's format it to make it more beautiful so firstly we would want to delete legend so it's in chart legend we take this off now we go to wedges and we put data point values so now we can see the ticker symbol and how many percent of the portfolio this ticker symbol is taking. And the next what we wanna do is we wanna change the distance from the center, just like that. And if you can see here, we can actually roll it, roll it to, to because this is a 3D, so we can directly roll it to make it more beautiful like this. And let's move it to the, to the, to the beginning of our chart. Okay, cool. Now I would love to visualize how many dividends I will get per, per year from my companies, so I wanna, select all these annual dividends i will go to charts i select this chart and then i would want to go to edit preferences plot rows as series i i see how many dividends i will get per year okay this is very very nice now let's make it a little bit more beautiful so we will go to disable the legend first and then we would want to make it like this and also let's move it to to the top as well now let's change the now let's change the template so if you go to the chart and then go to uh, chart colors you will see here colors images and textures we will go to textures and we will see which one suits the best maybe this one and we would want to render how, uh, the value of all these dividends to do that you go to serious value labels and choose the same same as source data so we can see that we are getting 72 dollars 99 dollars and 80 dollars from our companies okay cool enough and now we want to have the portfolio value to see the portfolio value we will just take it from here use the formula render in here for the annual dividend income we have it here so let's put it there and for the portfolio dividend yield we need to calculate it by the formula we have already annual income so we take annual income and divide that by the whole portfolio value and this will be our dividend yield so the dividend yield of our portfolio is 0 0.29 percentage and now we completed our stock portfolio tracker if you are still watching until this time i really really appreciate your time in my channel i'm talking about stock investments so if you are interested in fundamental analysis long-term compounding long-term investing please subscribe to the channel happy investments and i would love to see you in the next video